Gamers, there are some free Primo gems coming your way. Look at this. They're the winners. I'm calling it. What? Once we took out all the bot votes, Sonic Frontier, apparently they're, <laughs> they're botting it all. Nice. The Video Game Awards Player Voice Choice Award is Genshin Impact. Pretty crazy. I mean, it is a sign that the community is rallying behind the game. Arguments are, well, the community is getting bribed for Primo Gems. I mean, fair. But, um, you know, Elden Ring kind of came and went. People played it. There's probably not a great, huge, giant community uh, playing the game. God of War, same thing. Stray, same thing. Sonic Frontiers, I don't know. Apparently, they're botting it all. Genshin Impact, though, has continued to update constantly. It's not just like a one-and-done game, so I get it. They won. Um, are, are players hoping for some rewards? Yes, absolutely. Is there a lot of FOMO, gotcha, gambling type things that maybe keep people addicted to Genshin? Yes, but they won. My question is, my, my, my question is, was it worth it? <laughs> because... They gave 800 Primo Gems. I am really surprised by this. Um, I, I'm really, really surprised by this. 800 Primo Gems, not even a 10 pull, right? I think last year, Genshin Impact gave a 10 pull. It was like 1,600 Primo Gems. And you know, they did the anniversary both years, and both years the anniversary was like a little, the low side like I, I i definitely thought they would do more especially considering the anniversary of other games and i know that people argue well they don't they don't need to give away a bunch of free stuff because it's super popular but they just won a big you know another big award and they're giving out 800 and they they won a different award and they gave 800 for that one so it's 1600 total but it's like yeah between both awards now we're getting 110 pull i don't know i just don't feel like it's that Incredible. And with all the people rallying behind the game, I just wonder, I genuinely am asking you, did you kind of get scammed? I don't know how many times you could vote. Are you allowed to vote just by one person, one email? Like, I didn't do it. I can't complain about the number myself. Right? I'm just going to take my Primo Gems and it is what it is. But did the Genshin community and the Genshin Reddit, did you guys get scammed? It seemed like there was a lot of talk about it. You guys got to make sure you vote. Retweeting it, hyping it up, talking about it on Reddit. People were checking the numbers of the, uh, you know, of the hourly numbers, how many votes are going in. They saw a spike of Sonic Frontier, and they're like, wait a second. They're doing the math. They're realizing, oh, they, they've got to be botting, right? There, there must be a bot going on. We're going to lose this. People were stressed about this. And they gave you five wishes. I just, I just feel like that's not great. I don't know about you. I feel like you guys kind of got scammed for the amount of effort you put in. Like a little bit. Like if you look at if you had a part-time job and you worked like an hour, did people put in an hour dealing with the voting and looking at the voting and obsessing with the voting? Did you put in two hours, three? Like I don't know how much time was spent, but they won this thing. They put in lots of votes. They became the community favorite. And I don't understand... How much effort that truly is. But it seems like if I made four plus billion dollars, I would hook my audience up. I'd say, thanks, gamers. The only reason we got here is because of you. Here's a bunch of free stuff to enjoy. Here's a, a couple four star. Here's a five star. If you have a five star weapon for free, it's not going to ruin the game. Maybe I build a new character. I spend more resin on a new character that I didn't have before. You know what I'm saying? I'm just just surprised. I'm just asking questions here. I don't I don't know, but it seems a little on the low end. Uh, now Genshin Impact also while we're while we're on it, uh, they are dropping it. Yo yo, they are have revealed yo yo. Does it, I don't I don't know if it says she's a Dendro unit. I'm I'm not sure if she's a four star. Uh, it says Dendro. I don't know. If she it shows the weapon or anything. Maybe she's like a catalyst user. Uh, but I'll hate them as well. We've got a Dendro uh, daddy. And, uh, I mean, he looks sweet. He's going to be awesome. I'm excited for him. Can't wait to check him out. Literally. But, uh, you know, they're dropping the news. 
they're going to keep this game going. They're going to keep this game running. They're they're doing good. Uh, the community loves them, obviously. Genshin's winning. You guys are winning because they're winning. You get a couple Primo Gems. We can't cry about it. It just, I don't know, they just seem cheap. They just seem kind of cheap. That's all that... That's all I, th I think. Is It's a little cheap. Now, um, I want to address uh, not, not the elephant in the room. Well, I want to address this. I want to address this. Um, Farazan. I think I'm going to make a whole video on her, but looking at this character and, and, and looking at her constellations, I started getting kind of tilted because there's no pity on four-star units, but then you look at her kit and how valuable she can be for the Wanderer and things like that. And I just don't like that they do this. And, and, and you know, I raged about Klee back in the day and how C4 was like this massive spike in damage and C6 and all these different things. I look at her and I look at someone like Kujo Sara and you need those constellations to really fully pop off. She's pretty good at C0 considering, but she gets really nutty for animal units. And I'm just kind of sick of this. I'm sick of, I'm sick of that because you can't guarantee these four stars. And you see those constellations, you think, well, it's just a four star. Like, I, I could get that, right? And then you blow a bunch of bit wishes, and maybe you don't get the five-star you wanted trying to go for her. And I don't know. I, I, I think they need to change up how they do the four-stars somehow. They won't. Obviously, they're not going to. But I'm just getting a little miffed by it. So I wanted to talk about that. I might do a whole video. I'm going to do a review on her, I'm, I'm pretty sure, in the next day or so. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to address is um, the card game. Um, I, wanted to, I want to talk about the card game. After the Tuesday night release, I played a little bit and I got pretty down on stream. Okay. And I didn't stream it on Wednesday and I didn't stream it on Thursday. And I don't know if or when I will stream the card game. I might do it for the Primo Gems here and there, but it feels like I am just the odd man out. Um, you know, the community is hyped up about it. They're playing the card game. And I feel like the jerk in the corner that's like, I'm not having fun. I'm not enjoying it. The, the dice in the game, I called it at the beginning. Within my first like five or six games, I, was, I, I could feel I will not like this game. I hate the dice. And you can turn cards in and you can, you can alter the dice and you can change the element. But because of those dice, I feel like Every deck is going to devolve into pull a bunch of cards so that you can change elements, pull a bunch of cards that allow you to change elements or, or, or things like that. And the amount of build quality and build diversity is going to be cut into a third, into a fourth, into a fifth. I truly believe all of the deck diversity is dead because of those dice. You can't just run the, the crazy D. Luke, Kaya, Sucrose deck and that's like one deck and then you, you slot someone else in a lot of them are homogenized because of the filler pieces you need to not get destroyed by rng i'm gonna do a whole video on this i'm gonna i'm gonna describe it but the card game for me is not fun i don't want to i don't want to learn it i don't want to make guides on it it feels like a mini game and i'm 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 getting so sick of it and I, I know that I sound like the asshole. I feel like the asshole, but it's not fun for me. I, I, I signed up for Genshin Impact and the start. And I, I've been on this goddamn copium train for months and months and months. And I feel like I am on my last legs because it's just not the game for me. And I need to just shut the hell up and get out of the community and leave you guys alone and let you have fun because you're having fun and, and move on. I truly, I, I, like, I feel like I, I can't get my head out of the rut anymore. And the card game, unfortunately, because they spent so much time developing it, it's in this game now. It was like one of the big new main things. And I'm looking at it, I'm not enjoying it, and I'm going, God damn, now how long is it going to be before they add something for me? There's not a lot coming yet. The Game Awards are tonight, and there's some promising stuff, but it's into 2023. Diablo 4 is in goddamn June. I am sitting here looking for a life vest because I am swimming in a motion, an ocean of emotion. I'm sitting here so confused on what the what the heck to cover? What the heck to say? What the heck to do? I feel like I'm losing my baby. 
I had this game, I had this community, things were vibing, I was making guides, I was really happy, and week by week by week, update by update, that happiness goes away. The hype is going away. I don't know what to say. The guides aren't coming because there's nothing to talk about of meaning. There's no end game. So why would I make a guide? All the guides have been made. I'm sitting here saying, what the, what do I say anymore? And when I do say something, it turns into something like this. And I'm, I'm sick of it, man. I feel like a big piece of trash, but I have to be honest with you. I'm lost. I've been playing Destiny on my other channel, my, my more MTAS channel, playing some Destiny, and it's been fun, but even that game has some major problems. Again, Destiny 1 going to Destiny 2, they made a lot of changes, some suspect, some good, some bad, and as they've gone, there's been some great things added, but some terrible things added, and again, a game that I loved is, is kind of has moved away. It's not the same game as what I signed up for. And again, even on that channel, I'm playing it and I'm going, this isn't the same. It's not very good anymore. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to cover. I honestly am feeling so lost. I am an emotional goddamn wreck about content creation because I, I don't know what comes next. I'm in a definite little, little gully. I'm in a gully right now. I'm so unhappy with it. And it's not because I don't like creating. It's because I don't have something to, to create on that I'm, I'm passionate about, that I'm having fun on. And I'm sick of putting on a positive face a lot of the time. And so my thoughts are, you know, going forward is, you know, I'll make the guide on the characters. I will, I will give my thoughts on them and stuff. Does the banner look good? I can do that stuff indefinitely. But it just feels passionless. You know, I want to get excited because this crazy new four star sword was found in a cave and it opens up a bunch of doors for all the new free to play players, but that doesn't happen. And any new cool weapon that comes from an event is time gated. And so it has a finite amount of value for a finite amount of people for a finite amount of time. And it's just this, like this, this content loop is so dry and i'm dying inside new card game came out and i have zero passion to get involved i should want to get involved but my question to you my my question to you and this is how i will end the video can you blame me my question is, can you blame me? Because if you were to download and you were to purchase NBA 2023, play some basketball. But when you downloaded it, it was ping pong. Would you be happy? Probably not. Would you enjoy the game? Fuck, maybe it would be, maybe it would be amazing. But I feel like... Um, you know, what I signed up for, it's not there anymore. And I don't know if it ever will. Goodbye.